Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, we are still at war with Pocatello and <laughs> we will be at war for the foreseeable future. Because I would like to take at least one of his cities. I'm a little bit torn about which one we should go for first. I think Temoak would be slightly easier to capture because it won't have as many defenses as his capital, but it's kind of hard to judge. For now, we need to kill more units before we consider a serious offensive. So let's do that. Oh, and apparently you can actually move into a tile like this with a cruiser. You just need to use move mode specifically. Let's try that. There. Yep. It just doesn't work with right click because the game assumes you want to attack the worker. So that's that. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That was definitely worth it. Okay then, we don't have enough movement points on the other cruiser. Speaking of cruisers, can we upgrade another one? Oh no, we don't have the resources. Can we buy them from someone? Let's check China for example, no? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't think we can buy any. What about Alexander or Sweden? He has one, I don't think he will sell it. We can always ask. What about Aaron in exchange for one paper? Yeah, he would go for it. Sure, accept. And now we could upgrade one more if we want to. It's probably worth it. I assume we'll get a penalty if we lose the Aaron. But alright, let's upgrade. That's the guy with bombardment free. So it's certainly going to be useful. Anything else? Fortify. And yeah, heal back to full. How are the cities doing? Well, we will get another Fusilier in one turn. Alright. And a Jani, sorry. We are at 27 out of 40 units. Still a lot of room for more. Foreign Grid Diplomat, mission finished. Okay. As long as it's not in our only allied city-state, I don't care. So, back to business. Let's do some damage, shall we? This will be much better. Yep, this is way better. And one more cruiser. Nice. Okay, I want him to attack us more aggressively. Because then we can kill more units. That's exactly the plan. We got a promotion. Why can I not pick it up, really? Accuracy 2, yep. So, kill the Fusilier. We can do it just with our artillery. And keep our melee guys fortified. We could even move this dude to the front. Probably a good idea to protect the Gatling gun. We'll be in range of his field gun, but that's okay. Our other Fusilier will be in range of the field gun regardless. So, there's the Janissary, we can upgrade him, but probably not worth it. <laughs> we'll use him as garrison. Yeah, that works. We'll use these outdated units as garrison for happiness in our core cities. So, how about we send him to Konya? It can get slightly more happiness. In fact, we'll grab the guy from Istanbul. Yep, there we go. And Fusilier. Let's see, shock one, shock two. What can we do in Bursa? Probably build a factory and or a harbor. Okay. Yeah, we should build factories everywhere. We don't have enough coal to build one in every single city we own. So that's what we'll be doing. Wait, why can we not build it here? Oh, we don't have a workshop. Fair enough. I guess we'll build one then. What about Agadaika? We could grab a factory. How about we rush it? It's worth it. That's the city closest to the front line. Yeah, let's pay 1000 to rush the factory. It's worth it. Okay. And we'll keep the fusilier here for now, since I'd like to keep the garrison. We got 20 happiness right now. Very nice. Okay then. 
I'm not even sure how we are getting 20 happiness. Let's see. We are getting 82 total happiness, 5 from difficult level, 12 from social policy happiness, 6 from global building happiness, 9 from local city happiness, 5 from discovery of natural wonders, 3 from city-states, 24 from luxuries based on population, 18 from having at least one source of the following luxury resources. I'm still not sure why we jumped up that much. It's a mystery for me. Maybe we reduced unhappiness that much. Yeah, let's have a look. How's unhappiness now? Minus 5, minus 4. Okay, minus 9 is the worst in Agadaika, but that's because it hardly has any buildings. I think it's a little bit of both. We reduced unhappiness, but we also increased happiness. Alright, carry on then. Looks like... Almost all of the railroads we needed are done. One more cruiser. And the call is done, so now we should probably finish a road to Vancouver. Yep. So, right here. Just make it a railroad at this point. Alright then, another Janissary, so I crazy one, I crazy two. Actually, that was the new guy that we got, that I already moved. And we'll grab the antiquity site. Only four turns, good enough. I think that's basically it. Yep, looks like that's it. Is China still at war? Yes, still at war with Pocatello. I wonder if Sweden is doing anything. It's kind of hard to tell. What's the war score between Sweden and Pocatello? Okay, 22. Something is happening. Looks like Sweden might take his city. That would be nice. Alright. Let's continue. Back up with the Fusilier. That was a little bit too much damage for my taste. Let's see. You can move out of the city. And you can move into the city. And we'll use a cruiser. You know what we could really use on our cruisers? Plus one range. That would be so good. But unfortunately we do not have it. So... We'll have to deal with it. Now, let's back up a little bit more. I don't want both these field guns to hit our wounded fusilier. Right, there's a musket man to the west, we'll hit him. Let him move towards us still. There's no huge rush, we can take our time. Obviously, I would rather capture the cities sooner rather than later, but at the same time, I don't want to lose my units. So I'm just trying to be careful, you know. Right, we got all the rows we needed, just one more down here. To Samson. That's the last one. I might send one more worker to Vancouver or something. Yeah, let's send one. We'll have two workers in the area. That might be useful. Especially once we actually capture a city. Do we want that Lancer on the front line? Yeah, I think so. Lancers are actually pretty decent in Vox Populi. Which is nice to see for a change. So far we're doing quite fine. I mean, we are taking quite a bit of damage, but we aren't actually losing units. That's the important part. Great musician. There you go. Let's check our great works real quick. Let's have a look. Can we change anything? You know what would be nice? The theming bonus. What does this require again? Great works of art from different eras and different civilizations. Do we even have enough? Yeah, we do, actually. We just need to trade around a little bit. Okay, we have industrial era works only. It doesn't say civilizations other than the owners, so one can be ours. 
let's swap the other two. I assume we can. Yes, we got Modern Era here. And we also got Renaissance Era, perfect. There. Wait, it's not working. Why is it not working? Does it have to be other than the city owner? Art from different eras and different civilizations. It is from different eras and different civilizations. So why is it not active? Oh, there we go, I just had to swap it around. Now it's active. Okay then. That's about all we can do here, right now. How's our tourism compared to others? It's not that bad. I mean, yeah, not counting Portugal, we are technically last, but we're not that far behind, considering I'm not really prioritizing tourism all that much. So, what do we want to vote for? I assume the World's Fair will pass. Let's just vote for that. I'm not too excited about wonder from about culture from wonders passing, but I don't want to vote against it because I don't want to upset China. We'll just go for the safe vote. No one will be upset that we supported the World's Fair. However, we will have to switch our production to World's Fair. Anyway, Istanbul, what should we get? I suppose we could grab a circus. Maybe we should build Palace of Westminster. Is it actually good? Three additional delegates. Oh yeah, it is pretty damn good, actually. Right, what's our highest production city right now? 136 hammers. Well... That's only 12 turns! Yeah, let's build it! How many people actually finished statecraft? China did? Sweden did. Okay. Obviously we did. Morocco did. Pocatello did. Okay, and Portugal. There's quite a lot of competition for this one. But we'll give it a shot. It's only 12 turns. There's a good chance we'll get it. I don't think we'll get a great engineer, will we? Yeah, in 11 turns. Too little too late. But alright. Whatever you say. I can't speed it up any. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. 11 turns. We can use him for another wonder. Alright, another new mobile ranged guy. We'll send him west. To the front line. And new fusilier. Alright then. We will also send him west. Off you go then. Some reinforcements. And you need to back up. Yep, that works. So, we need to get these field guns to move one tile closer. So that we'll be able to target them with cruisers. And with our own prepositioned field guns. I don't really want to move towards them. That seems like a poor idea right now. Let's see if they decide to move towards us on the next turn. If not, I'll consider attacking more aggressively. So, next turn. Oh, we are down to 12 happiness now. Alright, hey, 12 happiness is still good. I'm just happy that we are in the positives. Pepper for sugar, yep, that is a good deal. He will even pay us some extra. Good enough. He actually backed up with the field guns. Well, isn't that annoying? So I have some words for past. Culture from Wonders passed. Yep, it did pass. I guess it's time to change our production priorities. You know what? This might be very good timing because the AIs might prioritize Ward's Fair over Palace of Westminster, assuming someone is building it. If someone is building it right now, they might switch to Ward's Fair. There is a chance they will do that. 
We are still finishing Neuschweinstein. Anyway, let's get started on Ward's Fair. We can finish the circles once the project is done. We will go at least for silver reward, I guess. I don't think we'll win the gold reward. Then again, I didn't think I'll win the treasure fleet either, and I did. So who knows? Perhaps we will. So just switch every city that's not working on a World Wonder to World's Fair. Maybe except Agadaika, I want that factory ASAP. Although, yeah, never mind, World's Fair. Okay, and we can propose something. What do we want to propose? That's a good question. Global War Games. Wait, what? Begins the Global War Games project. Okay. Gold reward. Receive plus 25% attack bonus to all military units for the next 30 turns. That could backfire terribly. If Pocatello got it, but I don't think he would stand a chance to get gold. Get a free grade general and plus for happiness. Receive one infantry and four of your military units will be maintenance free. That's pretty nice. Maybe we should suggest that. As an alternative, we could go for natural heritage sites. We could go for scholars in residence. We could go for what? That's pretty much it. I think we should go for global war games. All right, let's do it. It might actually help our war a little bit, if Pocatello decides to work on that. And if he decides to not work on that, we will still get an advantage, sort of. Anyway, another fusilier, so just send him to the front line. And off you go. Once we get some more reinforcements around here, I think we can go more aggressively. In fact, how about we start pressuring Temoak a little bit? Looks like Morocco might help us with that. I would prefer to repair Gatling Gun back to full before we do that. But we can move a little bit closer. Okay. Fusilier. Eighty two combat strength on the city. Temoak actually has higher combat strength than Mosonkani, seriously? Well, apparently it does. That's a bit unexpected. Maybe we should go for his capital instead. I'm starting to seriously consider that. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do after we move a little bit closer. And continue the road. And we can make some space for Morocco. Then again, they can pass through our units regardless, right? Yeah, they can. Okay, then. If we wanted to be super aggressive... Wait, no. I won't be starting a citadel because this is a can, not a great general. Never mind that plan. I was thinking about starting a citadel, like, super close to Mosonkani. On this tile, for example. That would be super aggressive, but I don't want to lose a can, because chances are we will never get another one. Maybe if we get a regular general, I'll consider it. We'll probably be done with this war by then. Are we actually close to getting a great general? No, not really. Okay, that's fine. We are done with the railroad. Yep. And no more improvements needed, unless we want to replace some farms with villages. We could consider it on some of these tiles. It might be worth it. Let's say this one is not really getting any significant food bonus. And we'll get a lot of extra yields by sacrificing just one food. Yeah, I would say it's worth it for sure. On any tile that's not getting food adjacency bonuses. Alright, looks like that's it.
Next. Oh, uh, the Great Scientist in 9 turns, that's nice. We got 10,000 faith, that's insane. I'm mostly saving it for Great Scientists, but maybe we should buy at least one Great Writer. It's not a terrible idea, it's only 1,000. You know what, let's buy one. Yeah, the next one is 3,000. The first one was definitely worth it here. And that's going to be a landmark. I'm pretty sure Vancouver will work it automatically. It certainly should. If not, we can always annex Vancouver, it's fine. Yeah, they will work it. Okay, carry on then. Come on, Morocco, make yourself useful. Thanks in advance. Oh, there's an antiquity site right here. Well, it's already in his territory. We got a new unit from the city-state. A field gun, very nice. That's actually super useful right now. You know what, let's get covered too. And then... Siege 1. And we can steal something. What can we steal? Military sa- oh, really? Well, isn't that disappointing? Wow, that's the most disappointing spy ever. Technically, we'll still save one turn. Whole one turn. Wow. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Wars yeah, fine. Okay, so what's next? Probably replaceable parts. To unlock better units. First we unlocked... Cavarni. That's upgrade from what? From Lancer? I don't think so. What does Lancer? Oh yeah, Lancer upgrades to Landship. Is it an upgrade from anything we own? Yes. Oh yeah, that's a ranged unit, right. Yeah, Cavalry is a ranged unit. Yeah, that is quite useful, we got quite a few of these guys. How many do we have? Three right now. Two of them are Garrison, I suppose. How expensive is this upgrade? Yeah, 1000 gold. We'll go for it anyway. It will be a nice boost in firepower. Works for me. So, Railroad. Through the landmark is fine. Wait, you didn't actually finish the Railroad. Great work. I thought... He's doing something. Well... Let's back up with the field gun. And do some damage. Let's see, one more. Although, might be a better idea to back up slightly. Can we be on this tile? No. Huh. I think we should back up slightly, because this is a bit too dangerous for my taste. Shock free. That Berber cavalry is getting in the way. Alright, swap these guys around. That will do. And more reinforcements. Fortify until healed. Hopefully he will move towards us. We'll find out. So, what about the more villages? Let's see. Which tiles could use some villages? This one, I guess. Yeah. It looks pretty useless otherwise. Sure. Here you go. Promotion for our spy. Oh, we lost the wonder. Oh well, I tried. We didn't stand the chance there. He wants peace. Will he give us a city for it? I'm going to guess no. Yeah, probably not. What about capitulation? Now impossible. I mean, we could peace out for 15 turns. But he doesn't have a whole lot to give us, honestly. I'll pass. 
I want at least one of his cities. I don't really care which one, I would prefer his capital, obviously. But that's quite a lot of units around it, and he's constantly building new ones. I don't think we can take his capital when he's building a new unit every two or three turns. We just won't be able to kill them quickly enough. But we might be able to take Temoak if Morocco helps us out. Yeah, if Morocco leads the first wave and kills some defenses, then we can move in and attack the city itself. That's not a bad plan. We will help them out a little bit, but I'll let them lead the assault. Right, let's help with the project. How's the progress? We got 1100 and it's 23% completed. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get gold, actually. Is it worth it? Crystal Palace Wonder appears in your capital. The Empire enters a golden age, plus two production and plus two science for all factories in old cities. We don't really have too many factories right now. We would have to build them. I might stop on silver. Yeah, gold won't be worth the investment, I don't think so. Although... It's permanent for the rest of the game. And we will build factories everywhere. I'm not entirely convinced it's worth it still. I need to think about it. So actually, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.